So, today I've got a sort of extreme look for you again. Um, it's again a Celtic holiday because I'm, yeah, I'm going to probably going to try to do like every single Celtic holiday in a extreme makeup look for the sole reason that they sort of work really well for extreme makeup looks. Either way, this time it's uh, Spring Equinox, which is uh, actually also St. Patrick's Day, which was, I know, a week ago, probably about a week ago when this video comes online. But it didn't suit in my schedule, so yeah, that's why I'm showing it now. Um, so yeah, I sort of made a sort of a, a clover fairy sort of thing. Um, at the start, I really like, I only, the only idea I had in mind is to paint clovers on my face. And other than that, I had absolutely no idea of what I was going to do. Um, so yeah, this is what it turned into. It's uh, very uncharacteristically actually turned into sort of a cute look with freckles and yeah. Taking photos was really difficult because I'm awful at trying to look cute. But either way, yeah, this is the complete look. Um, let's get on with actually putting it on my face. This time I'm actually going to use a concealer as a complete base. Um, it's the Catrice Camouflage Cream in shade Ivory, which is the palest shade. And despite it being a cream product, it doesn't seem to make my skin more oily, which is very nice. So yeah, whenever I want like full coverage on my face, I usually just use this product as a foundation instead of a concealer. Because even though I obviously use more than, you know, it's very cheap. So yeah, <laughs> that's no problem. Uh, for powder, I'm using the Peggy Sage Translucent Powder as pretty much always. Especially a lot underneath my eyes and on top of my eyelids just to make sure nothing there will crease and move around. And then also heaps of it on my T-zone because again oily skin so any bit of powder helps. And just spread everything out with a brush then so I won't have weird pale spots on my face randomly. And then it's time for face paint. I'm using the Crayolan Aquacolors as usual and I'm starting out with a fan brush. Um, mainly because this little, like, it's actually a nail art brush, it only grabs a little bit of product, so I can just easily sort of make a line and then blend it downwards, and then there will be no product left on the brush, so I can easily just make it fade into my skin. Main colors I'm going to use for this look, by the way, are uh, green, obviously, and black and white, that's really all the face paint you'll need. Uh, if you don't have face paint, you could also use eyeliners in these shades. Uh, or you could use eyeshadow and then just make it wet with like just regular water or fixing spray. But yeah, for the clovers I just did them like this very easy. Just like they're basically just heart shapes in front of each other, like at least the four leaf clovers. So yeah, they're really easy to paint. I just used a pretty thick nail art, not nail art, eyeliner brush for that. And I'm actually going to use... Um, a nail art brush later, which I also use as an eyeliner brush, which is a lot thinner really than this one. Um, but yeah, I just made a bunch of clovers. And, uh, I try to make them overlap because I think it looks more natural if they overlap rather than when they're all, you know, just, you know, evenly distributed next to each other. I wanted it to look more like nature and nature just, you know, is more random. Um, then I filled them in. I tried to create depth in them by uh, painting the ones... That are on top of the other ones uh, in a pale shade of green. And then I mix the green with black to create a darker shade of green. And then use that obviously to fill in the clovers that are, you know, more to the back of the face, I guess. Underneath other clovers. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, just very carefully fill them in. Doesn't matter if you aren't sure where the outlines were at this point. Because, you know, you can just redo the outlines. They're pretty much symmetrical, so it's pretty easy to see where everything was, I guess. And then for the outline, I actually used the same uh, darker shade of green for the outlines on the palest clovers. As I said before, with a very, very tiny detail brush. This is actually a detail brush, a uh, nail art brush. And then on the other clovers, uh, the darker ones, I actually just used plain black. Just to make sure that they actually look like clovers again instead of uh, random green spots. So yeah, this was actually something that took quite some time because I really wanted the lines to be nice and thin and not randomly thick in some spots. Like, I really wanted it to look even. Um, but once it was finally done, I uh, went on to highlighting. So pretty much I just dabbed some white on my uh, clover leaf there and then just dabbed it out with a finger. Just very carefully, but that's really the easiest way to blend face paint on such a small area. 
And this is with the outlines. I used a paler shade on the uh, paler clovers than on the dark ones. On the pale clovers I just used plain white. And then on the dark ones I used green. And I do think it makes them look quite a bit more detailed and quite a bit more natural. Decided to show you this one on my forehead because I was sort of bending my neck at a very awkward angle to show you the ones on my cheek. But yeah, at this point the clovers are done. And it's time for eyeshadow. I'm using the uh, BH Cosmetics 120 Color Palette. And to make the colors stand out slightly more, I'm using the Catrice Camouflage Cream on my eyelid again just to give it a bit of a tacky base. Um, because with these eyeshadows, like, there's a lot of shades of green in it, which, why, which is why I'm using this palette. But as you can see, they're not all very pigmented. But for this particular look, it didn't matter, because I mostly just wanted it to look not very much like eyeshadow, but more like my skin is just randomly green in some spots. I guess that would be natural for Clover Fairy. So I just went from a, a darker, or bleh, a pale shade of green to a darker shade of green and then just used a blending brush to blend everything out. And I really tried to blend it in a way that really just makes it disappear into my skin. Um, I did try to do it a bit of it in a lifting way, you know. Upwards at the outer corners. And then I decided to do the exact same thing on my nose. Just create a bit of a button nose effect. Like at first my original idea of course was to go for something more dramatic, evil-ish. Well not really evil but I have this tendency to make more like sexy-ish creatures. And this time I wanted to go for something cute which is very much against my nature. Um, but yeah I decided to challenge myself. So I tried to make sort of a button nose effect. And then to make it a little bit more like fantasy like yeah I don't know. To me fantasy face is more like what's... The nose somehow attached to the eyebrows. It just what it's just what makes me think of fairies, I guess. So I did that and then just added some more green at the center of my nose, like a pale shade of green to blend it all together. And then again went back to the blending brush to really blend it all together so it looks you know clover fairy natural. And then on my chin I decided to sort of also do the shaping there. Um, because it looked quite pale otherwise, like not green enough. So I decided to just try to make my uh, bottom lip look thicker. Just by adding a bit of a more of a shadow underneath there. And then pale green on my chin to highlight it a little. And again to just, you know, have it be more green. And I very carefully also um, did some shadow above my top lip to make it... Pop out a little bit more. Uh, do be careful with this because you don't want to accidentally end up with a green moustache instead. But yeah, I guess it worked. And then I realized I actually forgot to apply eyeshadow underneath my eyes. So I just applied a little bit of green eyeshadow, dark green, underneath my eyes to just make it complete. And then filled in my eyelashes with green face paint. Um, if you actually have green mascara, you can obviously also use that. But I don't, so I just use a spoolie. Uh, mix it with some water and then rub it over the face paint and yeah, just rub it on my eyebrows and eyelashes and it works. So for my eyebrows I decided to also keep it quite natural-ish and green, obviously. And then just blended it out a little bit with a Q-tip. Also, like this took me ages because I'm seriously just way too serious about my eyebrows I guess. Um, but yeah, I just blended them out a little bit to um, yeah, sort of upwards at the outer edges and then inwards. Towards my nose at the center. And then for my lips I used uh, Atomic Serpent by Makeup Revolution. I'll just list everything I've used below in the description box as usual. Uh, which is obviously a dark green lipstick. It was very cheap so I was seriously surprised about the quality of this. Actually wears very nicely as well. And then I decided I needed something more to make it a little bit more... Cute to make it more complete, so I added freckles with the green face paint and a very tiny detail brush again. And then here is the final result. It was way out of my comfort zone to do something that's more cute instead of evil, but I really enjoyed doing it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.